these models have small details and delicate parts, so they should be treated with great care when separating each part of the sprue and manipulating them. Pay special attention to the indication throughout the video. Separate the parts of the sprue first by cutting through the resin joints without getting too close to the piece. Once the piece is separated, you can cut flush with your modeling pliers or a blade. Touch up gently with small files or fine grained sandpaper. Hello, in this video I will show you some sensual figures with sinuous bodies and deadly claws at their arms. These are the mantis warriors of the last elves army. Here I have two plastic bags, one with the spruce for the command group and another with the spruce for the troops. The miniatures are all different, each one is protected in a plastic bag in separate parts to assemble. With the spruce of the command group we can assemble five mantis, all different from each other. We have accessories to mount a champion, a musician, and standard beer. All parts are swappable with ball joint assembly, so you can customize them as you want. We also have five 25mm round bases. In the spruce of the troops, the content is similar. We can assemble five different mantis warriors, all with swappable parts and ball joint assembly. Don't forget the 5mm bases too. Let's start with the command group. We separate the parts to assemble the champion. You can use the web image of the 3D models as a guide for the assembly. It is better not to cut almost touching the miniature at first, as the strength of the pliers could break the most delicate parts of the model. It is better to have a small leftovers that we can then trim with the hobby knife more accurately later. In order to make clean cuts and reduce the risk of breakage when separating the parts of the sprue, you should always use flat cutting hobby pliers, never diagonal pliers like those used in electrical works. The flat blades of modeling pliers allow us to perfectly align them to the surface to be cut, while oblique cutting pliers always leave resin pointy leftovers and with them we run a great risk of breaking delicate parts when cutting. When all the pieces are cut and separated, it is time to use the hobby knife to remove any remaining leftovers. Take enough time to do it calmly and make sure your tool is always sharp to avoid damaging the model. Also scrapping with the blunt part of our hobby knife, we can eliminate the mold lines that we can find. Finally, we use the micro files to further refine our work. Before assembling and painting the miniature, it is best to wash it with a dishwasher to remove any residue and release argent, grease or small resin particles that have been trapped in the nooks and crannies of the figure. To do this we use small interdental brushes as the figure has many fragile details that could be broken if you use a normal brush as in bigger miniatures. Once we have thoroughly washed all the parts of the model, rinse with plenty of hot water and dry using paper towels. The water and grease mixture is best removed by rubbing and whipping with the paper and not just drying the surface. Doing this will possibly influence the adhesion of the paint to the resin. When the 
parts of the model are clean and dry, it is time to assemble it. Remember that these miniatures are multi-component and with ball joint assembly, so you can set up them in the position and combination that you want. Place all the parts together before gluing to make sure everything fits perfectly. Put a small droplet of cyanoclate and put the parts together. You have a few seconds to correct the position before the glue dries. Cyanocrylate usually works very well when gluing the resin, but if you have any problem settings, for example in very cold or wet places, you can use an accelerator as a cyanocrylate activator. Put the glue on one of the surfaces and the accelerator on the other. When joining, the surfaces will be stuck instantly. For this reason, you should be very sure that the parts are correctly placed. We already have our miniature clean and assembled. Continue with the other miniatures following the same steps as described above. Let's see another examples. I already have the parts ready to assemble a standard bearer and a musician. Let's go there. And here we have our complete squad, ready for the primer layer. I love them! Remember that a good coat of primer unifies the surface of the figure and leaves it ready for painting. I will print all of them at the same time, placing them next to each other on a holder. Always prime with spray paint on your models, not but resin on the miniature. Keep your sprite can about 25 cm 10 inches away from the miniature. When priming, start by spraying very light coats of paint. The first layer should be like a mist and nearly invisible on the miniature. Wait a few minutes and add a new coat and then another one. Then let it dry for at least 12 hours. I hope you enjoy painting your mantis warriors. And be careful, they are little devils that will seduce and trap you under malicious charm. See you in our next video of the toughest girl of the galaxy, Darkness and Light Unboxed. <laughs>